Well, days after outraged parents protested at a Lawrence Board of Education meeting tonight, board members say the case is closed against a teacher accused of making racial comments in class. Yeah, that teacher will resign at the end of the school year, but will continue getting paid until then. While info on this case remains secret, 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey spoke with parents tonight. Well, the Lawrence Board of Education, which meets in this building that you see behind me, recently released this statement saying, after reviewing all the facts associated with this alleged racial comments case, no outside legal counsel will be brought in to further investigate. The board says case closed, but parents say the fight is far from over. Outrage recently seen from Lawrence parents continues tonight. The Board of Education says the settlement reached with South Middle School teacher Chris Cobb over alleged racial comments in class will stand. In a statement, the board says no outside legal counsel will review the case. How is allowing this man to be able to go teach other kids what's best for the student? Parents whose children claim to have heard the alleged racial comments say the settlement allowing information from the case to be kept secret should be overturned. They don't understand how it feels for your kid to come home crying and being confused. In an exclusive interview with 41 Action News, the school board stood by its decision, saying the case is a personnel matter. There are a lot of restrictions on what we're allowed to do in that regard. The board will now focus on organizing a community council to continue the conversation over issues with the case. This um, situation has highlighted that um, it's a conversation that needs to start right now. But parents like Monique Richardson say that solution does not go far enough, and the protesting at meetings may keep going. The board plans to form that advisory council sometime in January, and they say it would be made up of people from schools, parents, and people from faith-based groups, as well as several other groups. In the meantime, Chris Cobb, the teacher at the center of this case, continues to say he has been, quote, unjustly accused of making those remarks. In Lawrence, Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.